What's up guys, Aaron from Rogues Gallery and I'm super stoked because I have another Iron Man Builder game changer for you. Uh, we started with the purse magnets, we brought you the purse magnets and a lot of people are using them now in their builds and it's super cool to see, really happy about it. Well, I got another one for you and this is if you are trying to motorize or just create a manual flip up uh, uh, Iron Man faceplate. So um, there's a lot of different ways to do this and I think we're kind of breaking through uh, with another game changer for you. So I'm gonna show you how I did it, talk about how I stumbled upon it, and hopefully you will be able to use this yourself and turn this into something cool for your own builds. So let's get into it. All right, so if you're motorizing an Iron Man helmet or uh, maybe not motorizing, but you just want to create that mechanical uh, flip up faceplate, you'll probably be printing these. And these are little uh, helper uh, hinges that uh, go on the inside of, of the helmet, one on either side. And uh, what they do is they essentially help guide this bottom half of the faceplate up. And then uh, when you press the button down, it guides it back down. If you don't have these, two things will happen. In the up position, your faceplate, this top part of this faceplate here, will droop down. And you, with your faceplate open, you won't even be able to see your eyes. It'll cover basically half of your face. It looks a little silly, it looks bad, and uh, it, it, just, it just is kind of a clunky look. So that's one problem if you don't have these hinges dialed in correctly. The other problem is when you go to close it, gravity's gonna take over here and it's gonna drop down this front part and it's gonna essentially, I can kind of force this one to do it, fold this into itself. And a lot of times it'll get caught there or something like that and you won't be able to actually successfully close the helmet. So that's what these are for. And I should mention, so they kind of they kind of glue in or, or, or you know, epoxy or plastic weld in somewhere around here and then they attach to a spot. Uh, on the inside of your faceplate. Well, guess what? This is really small on me. This helmet is really small on me and these simply do not fit uh, in here. So I was trying to come up with an alternate solution to these that, uh, you know, as you put them in here, they're right at your cheekbones. So, and there has to be move, room for them to move back and forth. And I scaled this helmet down because I'm trying to get really, uh, a really sleek, aggressive look with the suit. Um, and I don't want to be a bobblehead Iron Man. So trying really, really hard to scale this uh, appropriately and just make it look, uh, you know, like the movies, it's like impossible um, measurements. So what do we do instead? Uh, I was playing around with motorizing this anyway without the, uh, the hinges here and uh, stumbled upon something pretty amazing, which is that I'll open this helmet up from the inside now and give it a look what we're talking about. All right, so everything's just taped together at the moment, but I wanted to be able to, to share exactly what we're talking about here. So I'm gonna use one of my, um, my sanding twigs to point to things. So what I've got, this is a very rudimentary solution. Instead of these nice, well-engineered uh, helmet hinges, we are using some quarter inch elastic. That's right, plain, simple, and stupid. So what we've got here is a piece of elastic, one on either side, and we've got it attached. One uh, section is attached to the top of the faceplate. That's right, right in here. And the other half is attached uh, about an inch away um, to, the, uh, to the actual helmet. Now where you position these is gonna have to be up to you, the design of the faceplate and the design of the helmet and how much slack and how much tension you need. But essentially what's happening is, as this helmet opens, that uh, elastic starts to tighten. So, so what happens when that happens? Well, it's pulling the top of this faceplate here, pulling it down. So there's tension on this elastic right now, you can see it. Uh, from the inside here. There's the piece of elastic right there. It's tight right now. So it's got tension on it. That's good. 
because what that's doing, as you can see from the side profile, is that it's keeping our helmet, uh, our faceplate, nice and high here. So you can see my face, you can see my whole face uh, through the top of this. So that's a really good thing. The second really good thing is when I uh, kick off the motor to go the other direction and start bringing this down, that tension is still applied. And as it drops, it's going to gradually release the tension on that elastic and which will gradually bring the, the front of this faceplate, the, the, the kind of the chin or the mouth area of the faceplate down to meet this. So gravity can't take over at this point, swing in and basically ram this into the jaw, which is what will happen if you don't have a helmet hinge uh, or this solution. So then it's nice and, and aligned. So um, my alignment of things isn't great here because literally everything's taped together, but I had to share this as soon as I, as soon as I stumbled upon it. So, so that's really what we're talking about. And like I said, you gotta play with um, you know, how much tension you think you need here. So like I said, I've got everything just taped in right now. Um, eventually what I'll probably do is put something together that is on one end, it's uh, detachable. So thanks Frankly Built for mentioning that. Uh, you know, just If you just glue these in, then your faceplate's kind of permanently installed. So if you ever need to take the faceplate off, it'd be a good idea to have something uh, that's detachable. So maybe one end uh, will have a fastener on or something like that. But um, that's it. It's two small pieces of elastic. And then the really nice thing about this is look at how clean this looks from the front and the side. Uh, you know, once I tidy up my wiring, um, you don't have that second set of hinges anywhere. It's super, super nice, cheap, easy, dumb solution to solving two problems at once. The first problem being your faceplate not, not opening up all the way. And then the second problem of it, uh, you know, gravity taking over when it closes. So this solves both of those problems without the need for these nasty, clunky helmet hinges that you have to really have to have a big enough interior inside of your helmet in order to make them work. Uh, so that's it. And uh, like I said, uh, this helmet is nowhere near ready for prime time. This is my uh, Mark 33 helmet by Vec 3D. It's a gorgeous model, buy his stuff, pay the man. Um, but this is, this is the way to go. So. Hopefully that helps. Uh, this is just a quick and dirty video um, just to kind of share how things are working. I'm not gonna get into the mechanics of actually motorizing helmets. Uh, there's a lot of good tutorials and things like that out there for that. But this is just one specific thing that I wanna mention. So you can toss your helmet hinges, buy some quarter inch elastic, and just fasten it to these two points. And, and that's it. Play around with the tension, see how much you need uh, you know, to, to make it work. And that's it. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video and the description. Hit us up. Uh, let us know if you have questions. If this works for you, uh, you know, uh, please shout us out and, and mention us and let us know that it's working for you. Rose Gallery Cosplay on uh, Facebook and Instagram and, uh, and YouTube. So yeah, let us know if this works out for you. And uh, hopefully it's a more simple solution to a problem that we all have if you're trying to uh, make a flip up uh, faceplate for your Iron Man. So like I said, that's it. Just two small pieces of elastic and you can throw away your helmet hinges. It's gonna say a lot of R&D time, right? Trial and error, trying to figure out where the right location is for these things and trying to get the right opening and closing going. You're gonna be in business way faster and it's gonna be a more reliable, uh, easy solution for you to uh, get your helmet hinges figured out and get things working. So please let us know if this works for you and also let us know if you have any improvements, any um, ways that maybe you can make this uh, solution better or changes to the design or anything like that. So like I said, this is super simple stuff and uh, we're excited to share it with you. So um, yeah, happy building.